All right, guys, that video is getting pretty long, so um, I cut it off and we'll do another one. You can watch this one if you want to. If you feel comfortable from the last one or you watch your last one a few times, that's fine. All right, so the first thing I want to think about for my next question is, question I should ask myself, does this look, move my face, like this, right? AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Do those match? Do they need to? Somewhat, right? Like we need specifically it to equal to zero. So that's what we want to do first. Make this equal to zero by subtracting 60 on both sides of the equation. All right. That's my daughter playing in the background. She's fine. She's just making a cat say exactly what she wants to say. 26x minus 60 equals zero. I don't know. It's, some app. it's a safe app, but it's... So if you hear screaming, that's fine. All right. So... Um, you know, don't forget what you already know, right? The quadratic formula is here to help. As I said, it's the one that I was taught first because it works for all problems, whether your roots are positive, um, you know, two positive roots or, or excuse me, by positive, I mean, that's not the right word. I was thinking under the discriminant, don't worry about that today. Two roots because it crosses the axis twice, uh, one root because it just touches the axis, or no roots because it doesn't, right? And that'll give us all of those options, but um, sometimes it's easier just to factor. So if I look at this one and I want to know, all right, well, this factor, well, 60 is going to add to, oops, negative 60, and it's a negative 26. So if I look at my factors of 60, 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 10, 4, uh, half of, oh yeah, 4 and 15, um, 5 and uh, 1, 12, and then 6 and 10, right? And if I go down my list here and I want to see, you know, one has to be positive, one has to be negative, which one are 26 apart? There isn't any. And that's when the quadratic formula comes into play because I know I can't factor it easily. So I'm going to look back to my formula here, I'm going to think about what my A is, what my B is, and what my C is. Well, A here again, no, no coefficient, and by no coefficient, I mean there's a 1 there, an invisible 1. Um, B is negative 26, and C is negative 60, right? I'm going to plug those in, even with the negative signs, right into my template here. So B, negative B, so it's a negative, negative 26, plus or minus square root of B squared, well, negative 26 squared, minus 4 times A, right? So I'm going A, which is 1, and C, which is negative 60, right? All over 2A, 2 times 1 in this case. All right, so I'm going to scroll this just a little bit over because I don't need that factoring stuff because it didn't work. Um, and I'm going to have... I'm going to clean it up. Negative negative becomes a positive 26 plus or minus the square root of 26 squared. Can't do it, but that's my other video. 26 squared is 676. So 26 squared, 676. Just write up other numbers. Don't worry about it. 676. Um, minus, right, minus 4 times A times C. Well, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times negative 60 is going to be a positive 240. And all of that is over 2 times 1, which is 2. All right. Now I can look at decimals because it's a wonderful thing. All right. So again, 646, excuse me, 676. <laughs> plus 240 is 916. So this is 26 plus or minus the root of 916 over two. And that's a fine answer. I am pretty sure the square root of 916 doesn't exist because what am I doing? Um, let's just start that again, 916, um, because I would have had factors to go in if it worked, but it doesn't, right? So this is a fine answer. Remember that you can plug it in the calculator to get um, exactly where that is. 
if I graph it, right, because this to me, if I'm looking at this, this number doesn't say anything to me. Aside from it's positive, it's going to be greater than 13. Where did I get that from? Well, 26 divided by 2 is 13, and I'm adding something to it. So I know it's greater than 13, but I don't know anything beyond that, except, oh, excuse me, one of them's greater than 13 because it's 13 plus, and the other one's 13 minus, so that one might be less than. So the thing I said first was not 100% correct. All right. If I plug this in, I am going to have to put in the one that equals to zero, okay? Because if I put this in right here, I won't know what it's doing because it'll have an equal sign in there. Like, what? Put it in in standard form. So that's going to be x squared um, plus not, in minus 26x minus 60. And as you can see here, um, 26 plus root 916 divided by 2 is going to be 28.33. Um, 26 minus root 916 divided by 2 is going to be negative 2.133. Okay, so this is your exact answer again. And these are your estimated best you're going to get most understandable answers. Okay, so we solve for x in this again. And there you go. Hopefully um, that will be helpful.